So we get to talk more about Batman v Superman. And in this case, we're going to talk about Robin and his weapon that he used. Now, digital media like PopViralBuzz.com and Nerdist News, the only thing they've been publishing concerning this movie has been negative things, to be honest with you. And PopViralBuzz.com, they just like Nerdist News, infer that Robin that is used in the Batman v Superman universe, he had to be way more murdery than Batman. And the grounds under which they presume this is based on his weapon. And this is the weapon here. Okay. Now we also saw part of the weapon used in Batman v Superman when Batman was using the kryptonite spear. The kryptonite was on the end of a weapon like this. This is a detachable section of the weapon. And he was able to protrude the weapon, the kryptonite weapon, a little further outward. And he placed it on this particular staff. Now, for those of you who don't know, Robin is based off of Robin Hood. He looks like Robin Hood. He behaves like Robin Hood. And he has a bow staff like Robin Hood. Well, of course, Robin Hood had a bow and arrow as well. And why this is important for people to know is because when we look at the classical Robin, he carries a rod. He doesn't carry a rod with these additional projections on it, here and here and also down here, but he does carry a bow. This is a bow staff, basically. Now, what people are throwing up their hands and arms about is they assume that Robin kills people with this uh, axe-like, spear-like end of his bow staff, and also this sharp projectile end of his bow staff. The truth be told, they have assumed a lot. Now, what I like about Zack Snyder is he's very provocative. Even in his movies, he's prov provocative because he prompts people to assume certain things because he generally questions people's uh, decision to hold fast to certain stereotypes about other people. And that's what I like about Zack Snyder. And so <laughs> here he's being very provocative, showing uh, the weapon that Robin uses. And especially these very sharp ends of the weapon that look like an axe and they look like a spear. So a lot of people are thinking that Robin uses this to slash people in half, kill them, impale them. Um, we don't know. We really don't. That is a speculation. What we can say that's fact here is that Robin seems to use the bat symbol throughout the axe-like projections of his weapon. So if you look here, and this is the shape of uh, Batman's bat. Here you see the bat again, symbol. And this is a sort of inverted bat symbol. This end could have been upwards like this. Now what the weapon is used for, we don't know. And we don't know if it's only used as a weapon or a tool. As you can see here, these projections and these ends of the projection look like they actually can hook into things. And if we know anything about Robin, he has to move around. So these may be used to hook onto buildings as he's moving and jumping from building to building. To get him to stick into the walls of a building, for instance. You know, these sharp projections could be used if he has to clamp into a wall of a building to keep him from falling. So, again, people are assuming a lot of different things about Robin's weapon. We don't know what it's actually used for. Um, if you can just think about how people use a bow staff, uh, he may fight with this end of the weapon, the middle end of the weapon, but used to grip things with these ends of the weapon, okay? Uh, he may use to fire off projectiles with another end of the weapon. So you don't really know what this weapon is used for. People are just speculating about it. And the only time we really know is when the Batman series happens. I guess they may do the killing joke in there somewhere, maybe, in one of the series. And we see Robin with Batman, then we will truly know what this uh, tool, because it's not necessarily only a weapon, maybe a tool as well, is actually used for by Robin, okay? Until then, we're really just speculating. Batman v Superman, even Batman, if you look at how Zack Snyder deals with violence and, and so on in Batman v Superman, he's showing that something was wrong with Batman. He was going over the edge, which means the earlier Batman and the earlier Robin were more in keeping with their moral codes. So it's very unlikely, very unlikely in my mind at least, that Robin would try to kill people, even in this series with Batman v Superman. The only time Batman was deliberately going to kill someone was Superman, and thankfully he didn't. Was he crossing the line? Was he, was he killing people or being excessively brutal? Yes. But you can see him easing off of that brutality uh, and looking more to deal with justice. So I don't think that Robin would be killing people. So you guys understand that this is just a provocative thing to keep people talking about Batman v Superman. And I think people will be talking about this movie for a very, very long time. Check out my videos on the discussion of Batman v Superman, stereotypes, etc. And also check out 
all my other videos on it. I've done a number of videos on this movie. So go ahead and check it out. You guys have a great one.